Hey everybody, first I wanted to say a big huge thank you for all of my new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing, I hope you're enjoying. If you have any requests for me ever, please feel free to let me know via a PM or a comment. Um, PMs, I it's kind of hit or miss whether it sends me a notification, so please go ahead and leave a comment if it's not something too personal. Anyway. I also wanted to thank you all for commenting. I'm getting better about commenting myself, but I've always been kind of bad about it. I'm trying to get a lot better. Anyway, I wanted to come on and make a favorites video. I've always wanted to do favorites videos, but I've always been really intimidated by the thought of doing it. For one, a lot of the people that I watch or that watch me are either in the TTC or have kids range. so. I didn't want to do too many favorites videos, so I didn't want to upload too many favorites when I didn't have my own kids because I feel like a lot of people just don't care for people's opinions that don't actually have their own kids. So this video is going to be totally kid centric. I will upload other videos that are favorites, but since dinner's cooking, the girls are playing. I'm just gonna upload some favorites that we found for the girls. I'm gonna try and do this on a more regular basis. So hopefully I'll be able to kind of get it more organized and the sections more well thought out. This one's kind of thrown together. Sorry. My first topic that I wanted to cover is books. Now I have a ton of different books. So what I'm gonna try and do is do more book reviews for you guys, but I really wanted to mention one of our strongest things right now, which is the Bob books. Bob books are amazing. They are so well thought out. There's three different collections. They used to section it out a little bit differently. So this is the original sections down here, but now they're in one, two, and three. Um, we actually got these from Costco for their birthday and they are loving them. We got the jumbo size ones and it comes with a parent and teacher guide that also has stickers. So I have made um, an Excel sheet that has each name of the book and then they get to earn a sticker each time they read it and it's kind of incentive for them to read and get better at these which they are um, now this one was a little bit different I just didn't know what to call it so household things because it's hanging up around the house but I guess it's more um, I don't know schedule learning type things anyway the first one is a calendar so this is the Melissa and Doug my first calendar I like it except it doesn't have the year I really wish it had the year because even though it doesn't change for a whole year, I want that on there. But it comes with the months, the days, um, dates, it comes with the seasons, the weather. So we change this every day and we go through it, you know, what day it is, what date, all of that. And then we go through what was yesterday and what will tomorrow be. And this is another Melissa and Doug. It's the My Magnetic Responsibility Chart. The, the girls got these for Christmas, and I will do um, a Christmas video about what they got for Christmas. So we started out with only putting two chores on it. So for the first two to three weeks, we only have two chores on it, and they have to earn their smiley faces. A couple times a day, I'll say, hey, have you looked at your chore chart? And then they'll go look at it. Okay. So now comes games. A couple of our favorite games we have just been absolutely loving. The first one we got was called Snug as a Bug in a Rug. I love this. It's a cooperative game. So there is no winner, there is no loser, which is amazing at this age. It, I fully support games that have winners and losers. I think that's very important, but I really like the cooperative learning games. Also, this has three or four different ways you can play it, so it grows with them and their cognitive abilities. So I really, really like this game. This is not a cooperative learning game. This is one that somebody wins. But we end up playing until everybody has filled up their little trunk. But I love this game. It's great for fine motor. It's great for color recognition. It's great for number recognition. It's great for coping skills. There's so many things that are awesome about this game. The main game piece is the box. The game board is the box. So I just 
I absolutely adore this game, and I am so, so excited that we got it for their birthday, which I believe that was from Megan Alley Doodles. Could be wrong. Move on to other activities that aren't necessarily games. This one is better for cognitive ability and fine motor skills. These gears have been awesome. You can build them up, you can build them sideways. It comes with a bunch of these boards that like Legos, you have to put them together to make whatever kind of board you want to make, whether you want just two or whether you want a bunch. Then it comes with a bunch of gears, a bunch of connectors, connectors to build them up, and I think it comes with a couple cranks. The girls really love those and it's awesome to see their minds work on how to build something that the gears actually work together. That cognitive ability is amazing to watch with that. It's also great for color recognition and like I said, they're fine motors. One of my last favorites for today is a large motor skill developer. <laughs> These were bought at Michael's. They were totally on sale. They were like a buck, but they've been awesome. They're monster feet stompers. So it's just like a monster foot that you put onto the ground, they step on it, and then they have to, you know, clomp around. But it is so, it's been so good for their balance. It has been so good for their gross motor skills that I cannot pass this up as a favorite. We use them all the time. We use them outside, we use them inside, going upstairs, going down the stair. We use it to practice quiet stomping feet. We use it to practice loud stomping feet. Um, just all kinds of games we've come up with and it's great. So one of the best $1 purchases I've had since bringing the girls home. Yeah. So those are a few of our favorites for now. Like I said, I will try and be more organized next time, but I hope you guys are having a great first week of 2014, and hopefully your second week is even better. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.